Corrections has revised a policy to allow transgender inmates to receive hormone therapy and gender reassignment surgery while incarcerated. The now Detroit Simon Chowdhury is live with more on this story. And Simon, I got to ask you, will taxpayers be footing the bill for this? Yes, they will, Carolyn. The money will be coming out of the State Department of Corrections health care budget, which is funded by taxpayers. Now, the policy went into effect last month. The original policy, though, said that transgender inmates who were receiving hormone therapy or were scheduled for a surgery before coming to prison, they would continue that therapy while in jail. But now this policy allows transgender inmates to begin that type of therapy while behind bars. Providing a safe and humane environment for all of our prisoners, no matter how they identify, uh, we need to be respective uh, of that. The Michigan Department of Corrections new policy allows transgender inmates to receive hormone therapy and gender reassignment surgery if medically necessary. This after the ACLU and Southern Poverty Law Center approached the Corrections Department on behalf of a transgender inmate who is seeking hormonal therapy. The group says not providing that care is cruel and unusual punishment. The Southern Poverty Law Center states, without such care, transgender people may experience gender dysphoria, the distress associated with the conflict between one's experienced or expressed gender and one's assigned gender. It puts them at risk of anxiety, depression, and suicide. The Corrections Department spokesperson could not give us a clear answer to what would be deemed medically necessary because it would be determined by a committee on a case-by-case -case basis. They would meet with our health care staff for a comprehensive evaluation and then an individual plan would be generated uh, for those diagnosed as gender dysphoric. The cost would come from the department's health care budget, which is funded by taxpayer money. Hormone therapy is at least $50 per month per prisoner. The cost of um, hormones uh, would be far less than if um, we did nothing at all and uh, prisoners uh, all started you know, suing uh, for the rights to do this. Again, a specific treatment plan will be put in place for a transgender inmate. The plan doesn't necessarily mean hormone therapy or some sort of surgery. It could just mean different types of living conditions. It could mean single cells or bathrooms with a little more privacy, gender-conforming clothes, and other items like that. Carolyn? Simon, do we know how many prisoners in Michigan are actually transgender? Right now, there are about 50 transgender inmates out of 40,000 state prisoners. Now, uh, some people believe that that number could go up. They don't know just yet. Some, some folks say that it could be that they haven't necessarily declared what their um, gender, con uh, what they conform as or what they identify as behind prison because a lot of uh, organizations say that it may not be safe in a safe environment, a comfortable environment to do so. So they're hoping that with this new policy in place that the that could be a safer environment for transgender inmates certainly a big talk about we'll continue to follow it thank you so much Saima for the live report